I prepare my balloons the night before and the first thing I do is to prepare the small one as they are the most time consuming task. I use a manual pump to inflate a small balloons and my color palette is blue, gray, brown and white. I didn't have small white ones so I followed the hack using the 30cm balloons. Watch my other video to see how I did it. I use an electric pump to inflate the 30cm balloons. I push the other side of the balloon and letting the excess air. This will make your balloon looks more rounder. Then I twist the two balloons together twice and then tie them. Once I have two sets, I twist them together to create the four balloon clusters. Same with the small balloons. I have white, gray, blue, and brown. This brown balloon has double layer. The color turns out really good but it is very difficult to inflate. I even have a new pump to make it easier to blow up more balloons but it only works once and the rest of it I have to use a manual pump. Make sure that your balloons are round and not overly inflated as this will make a big difference when you tie them together to build a garland. After pumping each balloon, be sure to deflate it slightly and push the other end to achieve a perfectly round shape. I pump as many balloons as I can fit in the car and the rest I will inflate at the venue. When we arrive at the venue, the first thing we did was to build the backdrop stand. I find it easier to set up by placing the circle frame on the floor and adding the stand in the end. Here I'm going to show you how I connect the 4 balloon cluster to make an 8 balloon cluster. I simply push them together and find a spot where I can twist the two balloons from each cluster to bind them together. It can be tricky connecting these two balloon clusters. What I do is I pull the balloon that's away from me and push the balloon that's near me and try to twist them together. Next we added this circle frame that has a name in the middle. My friend made this and we used a fishing line to hang it in the stand. Going back to the balloon cluster, I used a 260Q balloon to connect the cluster together. I started with blue balloon cluster, tied it with 260Q balloon, then wrap it around the next cluster of gray balloons, and I did the same thing with the third cluster of white balloons. I used the 260Q balloon to wrap around the stand but you can also just twist the balloon cluster around it. I forgot to add the brown one in the cluster so we were just inserting the brown cluster by twisting it around the stand. Following the same color pattern from the top, I have made another set of blue, gray, and white balloons and wrap it around the stand and added the brown balloon at the end. On the other side, I also follow the same color pattern but this time I wanted to show you that you don't have to connect the cluster before putting up to the stand. You can twist the balloon cluster individually to the stand but you have to push them together to make it look fuller. For detailing, I used the 260Q balloons to connect the 5CM balloon cluster. I tied the 4 balloon cluster on each side of the 260Q balloon and then I wrap it around the balloon garland base. If you don't need too much of the cluster in one area, you can just use a rubber band and tie it around the base. And just continue adding the detailing for all the colors. We tied the dried flower bouquet on the stand which I forgot to film and added some artificial leaves around Peter Rabbit. Here you can see I have added the white small 5 cluster balloon for detailing and I also made it in small gray balloons. I also fill in this box with balloons. We also used the artificial grass as a mat which made it look so much better. I also have added 45cm blue balloon to add character to the garland. I really love how this turned out. Please like and share this video if you find this helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye!